going to discuss biophysical profile which is a very important topic in obstetric point of view okay first of all we will define what is biophysical profile okay biophysical profile is in fact a method of determining fetal well being by combining two things first of all fetal activity on real time ultrasound with a study of fetal cardiac activity on ctg okay so basically we have two main things which we combine to find out the score for biophysical profile okay ctg and the features on ultrasound now biophysical profile is generally performed after 32 weeks of gestation okay there is no role of biophysical profile before 32 weeks of gestation it's because of its mechanism which we will discuss later now there are different uh, parameters there are basically five main parameters of biophysical profile which all of you should know originally described by whom originally described by manning and coley we have to know about the history of biophysical profile as well because uh, this is something related to our subject okay and the biophysical profile has become a standard tool for providing antepartum fetal surveillance now biophysical profile integrates five parameters to yield a biophysical profile score and include five main things first of all the non stress test which is cdg secondly the observation of the presence or absence of the fetal breathing movements okay and gross body movements then fetal tone ultrasound measurement of afi okay so these are main five things okay fetal breathing movement gross body movement fetal tone afi and cdg we combine all these things okay so uh, let us discuss these parameters these five parameters non stress test ctg okay if it um, it scores to if there are at least two acceleration of more than 15 beats per minute in 40 minutes score zero if there are four than two acceleration in 40 minutes fetal breathing movements at least one episode of the prolonged breathing for more than 60 second in 30 minutes period and score is zero when there are less than 30 second of breathing in 30 minutes now fetal cross body movements two or more discrete body movements within 30 minutes score is zero when there are less than two episodes of body or limb moments within 30 minutes now coming to the fetal tone one or more episodes of active extension with the return to the flexion of the fetal limbs or trunk and score is zero when there is no evidence of the fetal movements or flexion now coming to the amniotic fluid volume if there is one or more pocket of the fluid measuring more than 2 cm in vertical axis it is score zero score two and if there is neither or no pocket or larger pocket less than 2 cm in vertical axis then the score is zero okay these parameters are explained here in the figure ultrasound plus non stress test now what is the physiological basis for using biophysical profile the physiological basis is basically coordinated fetal activity requires intact non hypoxic cns and all variables are affected by hypoxia okay so basically this is hypoxia which affect the variables or which affects the parameters of my physical profile the sequence of events in hypoxia are first of all we have to remember these things what is affected first appearance of the non stress cdg first of all cdg is affected secondly the abs- there is absence of the breathing movement followed by reduction or the loss of the fetal movement and in the end the tone is affected so we have to remember this order now physiological basis is explained here okay so what happens that um like uh, we can see that tone develops at 7 weeks cortical and subcortical areas get develop movements uh, get develops at the 9 weeks uh, which coordinated by the cortical nuclei breathing by 20 mean 20 weeks ventricular surface fourth ventricle okay and reactivity is developed at 26 to 28 weeks in posterior hypothalamus okay now the thing is that looking at the variables derived from cns center is ideal okay so tone is affected in the and body movements body breathing movements then cardiac activity eye movements swallowing mixturation okay so these are all affected
Now, maternal and fetal indications. In what conditions will we uh, indicate the biophysical profile? We will not prescribe it to each and every patient. Okay, and the indications are first of all APLS, hyperthyroidism, hemoglobinopathy, cyanotic heart disease, SLE, chronic renal disease, type 1 and type 2 diabetes, diabetes, and patient with hypertensive disorder, decreased fetal movement, oligo uh, or polyhydramnios, IOGR, preterm pregnancy, isoimmunization, moderate to severe, and previous fetal demise and uh, unexplained or recurrent risk, and multiple gestation with the growth discordancy. These are all the indications. Now coming to the scoring system. If we have score 8 to 10, no hypoxia, we have to repeat at weekly interval. If the score is 6, then it means the chronic hypoxia. If more than 36 weeks, we have to deliver the patient. If the score is 4, it shows the chronic hypoxia. If more than 36 weeks, deliver if 32 weeks, repeating testing in 4 to 6 hours. If score is 0 to 2, um, it means certain hypoxia. Test for 120 minutes persistent, less than uh, 4 deliver regardless of the gestational age okay now what are the advantages combining several fetal parameters improves the predictive value of the test over individual variable and a normal biophysical profile is dependable and uh, has low false negative rate as 0 0.72 per thousand assuring a good prognosis now, what are the disadvantages? My physical profile is a time-consuming process and it requires baby to be in active sleep phase. But it has been shown by the research that baby spends 30% of its time asleep. Sometimes by physical feeding, breathing movements may be absent up in up to 120 minutes in term fetus. Okay. And fetal activity, especially breathing movements, vary at different gestation, being less in the early part of the third trimester, 12%, and increasing after 35 weeks. Now, fetal behavioral movements are affected by several factors, reducing maternal smoking and stimulation by maternal hyperglycemia. So, these are all the pitfalls. The fifth pitfall is that it has high false positive rate, promoting unnecessary intervention as well. Reason for high false positive rate is the scoring system. For instance, in a quiet sleep phase, a fetus with a normal liker and reactive CTG may score 4, warranting unnecessary intervention in an uncompromised fetus. Okay, so in that way, we have to discuss the biomodified bio biophysical profile. It was uh, modified by physical profile consisted of CDG and AFI. It is widely used due to fetal quiet sleep phase. Okay, the disadvantage of bio modified by physical profile is that modified by physical profile and complete by physical profiles have similarly low false negative mortality rate defined as the number of death within one week of a normal test. Nevertheless, no clear evidence exists that two variables used in the modified biophysical profile are better predictor than the other um, variables submitted from biophysical profile. Furthermore, this method requires two modality for fetal evaluation, while the normal ultrasonic uh, findings of biophysical profile estimates the need of the non-stress CDG as well. Okay, so 